Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. But right now, we're here, and we don't understand. Portia, you out there selling sheets by you and you're not delivering the sheets the goods girl honey bar uh what's her name um buffy parcel that used to be on married to medicines um reality sitcom show she went on your website honey and she bought some sheets from pampered by portia and she is crying she's carrying on over there hollering i don't know what else she doing but she letting the whole world know through social media that she bought sheets from you that she had to pay up front for and the shipping costs and she still ain't got her sheets <laughs> see there we go if you don't send me my damn pampered by Porsche sheets and she's serious about that that's Buffy Parcel so so um what, what are you not being a business you're not being an astute business person over there at Porsche. Are you letting people, you taking people money and you ain't giving them the goods. That's a scammer, girl. And you can't go to jail for that kind of stuff. Porsche, get it together. Get it together quick, fast, in a hurry. I mean, should B Buffy Purcell have come out and blasted you on uh, the internet? No, but if she's been waiting for her sheets and she's been leaving messages on your customer service line, because I really don't think y'all probably have each other's number, but y'all are both definitely in the business, in the entertainment business, so I don't know. Maybe she should have reached out to you another way, but then you have to do your due diligence and make sure that people are being satisfied as well, Portia. I'm like, that's business marketing 101. Girl, you got to come through. You got to do better than what you're doing. Because if you put it out there that you're taking people money and not sending them their goods, girl, you're going to have a rating from maybe a 5 to a 0. Meaning don't deal with this distributor. Don't deal with this person because it's all a scam. I mean, I know you've been hanging around and fl flossing with some scammers lately. Okay, Shaba Man, and possibly Yo Man. I know it's tempting. But do you see that face? That face is not going to let go. Alright? She's telling you she has not gotten her goods from you that she's already prepaid for. So my deal for you, Portia, is to go on and give her some extra sheets or something. And call it in the public eye that um, it was a misunderstanding. Uh, the orders got mixed up or the orders really never got placed. But you can't really say that because I'm pretty sure she has uh, a running receipt from her credit card that she probably used. Or her debit card. And if that transaction she made for buying your uh sheets you could avoid it but you could avoid it on your end and recredit it back to her account so she could see it on her bank statement the money was refunded but buff ain't got that she ain't got her sheets and she running out of time she don't want to deal with people that are not you know acting correctly against you no know, towards the consumer so Portia 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 You don't want to play with Buffy, okay? She probably has more money than you. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think she's an accountant. And she does other businesses on the side. Now, if 
a black person want to come and patron your goods or your shop or your services we must be up front and we must do our due diligence to thank them for coming and dealing with a black owner uh, of goods and you need to make it right if somewhere down the line it didn't come out clear of uh, how 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 do you deal with something you never got you know on your um, website you need to call this number that number you need to fax this number and that number with your order number and we'll get back with you hopefully within a 24 48 day turnaround that would have been really feasible and the way to go because it's showing that you have some backup contingency plan in case stuff like that does happen you have a, a a way that they can you know leave you a message of some sort about what happened what you ordered and where is your order uh if you don't have that set up that's piss poor business since you need to shut shit down okay and come better come better but um I don't know. She might just be a thorn in your side, Portia. I'm telling you, girl, you need to go on <laughs> and refund that lady money back and give her uh, some sheets complimentary. Because if you lend these women on Real Housewives of Atlanta, such as, uh, what's her name, Drew Sedora, you were letting a, uh, a friend of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Shamil Morton, if you're giving them plus, I saw about what, four or five more people, giving them uh, you, their hair to wear, as long as they continue to talk good about your product and they keep that hair that you're providing them for looking very fresh and, you know, lovely all the time to make people want to say, where did you get your extensions from, you know? And then you could say, <coughs> excuse me. And you could definitely say, um, well, these are Portia Williams um, Go Naked Hair. Here's the website. It's very affordable. She has sales sometimes, and the hair is flawless. Or the hair is very well kept for when they made it, and they give you instructions on how to keep it and how to maintain the, um, the time length or the duration of the hair. If you treat it right, it should last a little longer than the ex estimated wear and tear time. Something to that degree, Portia. Okay? But, girl, you don't want to mess with consumers. Not these days because the majority of them are computer savvy. And they would go on and give you bad ratings or whatnot. And then the Better, better Business Bureau would not look forward to to serving you <laughs> they'll be saying you're not a good owner of goods <coughs> and services child when i saw this i said no buffy ain't trying to uh put portia on blast when we know she need help with everything okay she don't need to be losing no business around now she need to get that streamlined money stream going strong okay because we don't know what simon coming and going we don't know if he's gonna marry her and if he does we don't know how long he gonna keep her. you know what i'm saying so whoo child push you do better be better baby and i will see you next video guys Bye bye